All right, guys, I have one question for you. Are you naughty or are you nice? And chances are, when it comes to your calorie consumption during Christmas and New Year's, you're gonna be on the naughty list. But I'm here to tell you why it's gonna be okay. So let's get to it. All right, real quick before we get into some tips for the holidays, a lot of you guys have been asking me how my bicep is doing. I'm about 16 weeks uh, post-op and feeling really good. Uh, honestly, I was really discouraged for a while. I'm not gonna deny that. But week by week, just you know, stay in the course. It's getting better. And uh, actually, over the weekend, I did a 320 pound log clean and press, uh, which is a huge post-op PR for me. And I haven't done log in a long time, so just excited to get back into some strongman training, which is what I'm gonna be incorporating in the future, so you guys will see some more of that stuff. Uh, but overall, things are going really good, and I'm excited to get back to kind of my normal self. So bench press, I think I made try to AMRAP 315. I've been doing that like pretty often, more often than I, got, I like to admit. I don't really know why I'm doing it. It's just been fun. Uh, so my current best is 12 reps. Uh, however, I did some chest on Saturday. Uh, so we'll see if fatigue is gonna factor in there, but I don't know, let's see. Hoping to get at least 10, at least 10 today. All right guys, so how could Shiny survive the holidays? So I'm kind of busy, mom of three kids, lots going on, right? Um, so I think in the past, I would kind of just give up, right? If I couldn't get it all in, if I had say, six, seven movements to do and I couldn't do them all. I was like, screw it, I'm not doing it. So now I realize at least train, right? If I can't get them all in, it's fine. My time might be cut a little bit shorter, but I'll stick to like my main compound movements and get in what I can in the time I can. The key is keep training. Did I say 10? You did say 10. I'm thinking eight, eight or more. <laughs> All right, well, clearly Coach Tanya didn't get the memo because she stole what I was gonna say. Um, so piggybacking off of that, we really just wanna maintain the strength and the size and the gains that we've made, and we don't wanna regress, okay? So don't pick up you know, bad old habits. Uh, if you are short on time, try to condense things together or focus on big main movements. You're gonna get the best bang for your buck on there. Uh, and just keep training. So now I'm gonna have to do 315 for an AM rep. And uh, Coach Tanya's gonna spot me. Right, Coach Tanya? Right. Thanks, Coach Tanya. Let's count them out together, YouTube. How many are we going? Guys, could have been the last video on the YouTubes. I always think that 
I'm getting, you know what it is? It's unlucky number 13. That's what it is. It's the 13. It's like an evil spirit in here for my 315 bench. Uh, it's all right. I think, I think I gave him a heart attack, but I'm totally fine. All right, I think we're done with bench press, so let's move on to something new now, okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm freaking over here with Gina my stealing my equipment. And she, and she's trying to teach the master how to get it. Hey, I'm not the one dropping weights on my chest. You know what? She's known for trash talking in here. You guys are probably wondering, where's DK, right? DK's not in. That's because she broke DK. The, the, the scariest guy in the gym, she broke him. So don't be just, just like, she's, don't let her fool you. Look at Zeke, Zeke's cowering in the corner. I told Tina though, her, her comments, you can't hurt steel, all right? You can't hurt steel. I know all about the trash talk game. I played Xbox for a long time, all right? No one's gonna hurt my feelings but me. And Zeke, but he can't talk. First off though, let's talk to Tina. Let's talk about this setup over here. She's got two loops in here and four on the other. I knew she was a little lopsided, but I didn't want to say it to her face. All right, guys, let's address the elephant in the room, and that is nutrition, okay? I know a lot of you guys, uh, you know, you beat yourself up when it comes to the holidays, but if you are consistent and you've been training hard and eating right 80 to 90% of the time, two days out of the year, isn't gonna mess you up. Yes, the scale may go up, but that's literally because of the mass of food that we're eating, that sodium, right? Uh, just some water retention, etc. And then typically after a few days, it goes back down. So don't beat yourself up too much, all right? And kind of just make sure that you're doing everything properly leading up to these holidays. That's the main thing, guys. It's just uh, getting in your training, okay, eating right most of the time, and then, you know, enjoy yourself. Okay? Don't beat yourself up too much. Have fun with your family, your friends. Uh, a lot of family members make delicious foods. We have grandma's recipe, you know, aunt whatever's recipe, uncle whoever, and this is stuff that we want to try. We only get it twice a year, so uh, you guys might as well enjoy it. All right, so still kind of following those lines of nutrition. Um, we want to make sure that we're staying hydrated. I know when it's cold, it's easy to not drink as much fluid because we're not sweating and we're not as warm as we would be, uh, you know, in the summertime. So hydrate, drink a lot of water, good amount of electrolytes, get all those goods in. Um, secondly, high protein intake. So if you are at Christmas or New Year's, whatever, and there's the protein, try to eat as much of that as you can because it's satiating. Load up on veggies. Okay, that's gonna help satiate you. And then when it comes to carbs, uh, you know, obviously do your best to stick to the, I wanna say, better uh, option. But we know, right, that we're gonna be all better with more nutrient dense carbohydrates than stuff loaded with tons and tons of sugar and junk, whatever. Uh, and then try to, when it comes to desserts, just be content, okay? We don't wanna have a food coma or a, or a food baby as sitting there because that never feels the greatest. Uh, but just a couple of pointers. But like I said, guys, listen, if you wanna go all in, go all in, okay? I can't tell you not to, because I've done it in the past, and everybody on Instagram maybe putting out stuff or YouTube, whatever, teach you how to be the perfect holiday, you know, uh, person, but that's not life, okay? Life is meant to be enjoyed. Uh, train hard, eat right, stay hydrated, have fun with your friends and family, um, indulge in the goodies, um, and don't beat yourself up too much. Uh, so that's pretty much it. We're just closing this video out, guys. Uh, all the stuff is in the description. We got our Patreon, we got our Iron Lines Facebook group, uh, we got ZashRank.net for programs. Check them out, really appreciate it. Uh, that's it. So enjoy the holidays, stay safe, enjoy friends and family, and uh, stay a lean, mean, track machine. Peace.